assalamu alaikum today i am here in front of you to discuss about how to write microbiology answers my dear brothers and sisters sir, see this is a very important video for you all why means sir, many students sir, know the answers they will attain every answer they know what what is the question and they also know uh, what content should uh, hidden in this question but they don't know how to write that uh, answer for that particular question in microbiology many students uh, kept their backlogs uh, due to this reason what's that reason they are unable to fetch that answer they are unable to read the question now in this video inshallah i will discuss the uh, tricks tips how to attain 10 mark 5 mark and 2 mark questions in the examination and uh, by practicing these uh, uh, strategies by following these uh, ideas inshallah definitely my dear brothers and sisters uh, uh, you will succeed in microbiology if you having any backlogs in microbiology microbiology then you can uh, clear that backlog let's start that uh, see initially initially first we will discuss about uh, the tips to write for 10 marks in exam see a uh, first tip here is uh, first tip here is uh, first uh, write the definition of a particular term this is the very important but you have to write the definition definition is very important I will give an example 10 marks if they ask what they will ask write a note on a sterilization by filtration this is the simple one or they will ask write the principal construction working advantages disadvantages of a sterilization by filtration the first term you have to write is the what is sterilization then you have to go to filtration what is filtration after writing this you have to write all the sterilization techniques okay all the techniques of sterilization okay after that writing the techniques of sterilization then move towards the filtration sterilization by filtration once again you define that what is this filtration then you write the initially you write the principle then you go for construction first you write a diagram means first you draw a particular diagram okay diagram then you go for the description means what the diagram you have constructed no just you write that stainless steel we are using we are using the funnels okay funnels condenser this all you have to write there after that uh, you write the working then advantages disadvantages uses okay this is enough for 10 mark now the next question next tip is uh, write a little extra see write little extra for asked question some students not some students many many students what they will follow the strategy means uh, now for an example they will ask what is virus explain the application of virus now our beloved students our beloved brothers and sisters what they will do they will just write what is virus then they will start explaining the six, rep six replication stages okay that is attachment the six replication stages are near no they will write directly that one you will get only two or may majorly you will get five marks there Actually, this is a 10 mark question, but unfortunately, you will get their 10, 5 marks. We want their maximum mark. So, what to do that? First, you write what is virus. Then, you explain what is naked virus, what is uh, naked one, naked one, and what is enclosed one, means coded one. Then, you, after that, you draw a diagram, virus diagram. After that, you explain the stages. Huh. Then, you explain that uh, particular stage. This is the writing procedure. Then, the next important tip is... Uh, First, write four pages correctly without scratch. This is very important uh, to pass in our examination. Microbiology question paper. Okay, while the supervisor correcting no, your answers, uh, first he will or she will observe your first five to six pages. You maintain good uh, strategy there. You maintain a neatness, a clean diagrammatic view. Okay, by that the supervisor can impress on your answer sheet. First, you maintain the strategy. Inshallah the whole answer paper the whole answer sheet will be fine and good next fourth draw diagram example for maximum questions this is one of one of the very important you have to draw the diagram maximum question maximum question uh, keep this habit to draw diagram and ex examples two to three examples should be given now write a note on autoclave you will write the principle you will write the working but in a hurry hurry you will leave the diagram means construction draw that construction give the users give the example this may be better for you yeah these are the some tricks or uh, tips for 10 marks 
Now let's discuss about what are the tips to write in 5 marks. How can we write in 5 marks? See, tips to write 5 mark answer. My dear brothers and sisters, first definition. In the same way, here also you first determine the definition. Okay, now for an example, difference between TEM and SEM. First you differentiate that, means first you write the definition of TEM and SEM. Then you differentiate. Okay, means by giving the diagrammatic views. Then minimum you should cover 3 pages. See, one page, two page, three page. The pages and uh, the pages are not a single sheet means it's not a one page. A single complete sheet this, uh, that, this, that contains two pages, front and back. Okay, by that you have to cover three pages. One, two, three. It is very important for five marks. Then no extra writing here. What they have asked, no, you just write that one. No extra one. No extra one because there is no time. Then save the time and complete in one and a half hours. See, Five mark question you have to complete in this one and a half hours. Actually, your question paper settled for three hours. You give your one hour for ten mark, one and half hour for five mark, one point five hour. Then remaining half an hour you give for two marks. Completed. You follow this one. One and half hour for five marks, one hour for ten mark, then last half an hour for two marks. Finish. Next, uh, diagrams are mandatory. Here also same, you should draw a diagram. Mandatory these are. Then don't leave. Write whatever you know on concept. Don't leave any question. Don't leave. This point is very important. You have to not leave any question uh, without uh, touching that. You just uh, write whatever you know on the concept. Sometime what happens, uh, if you are lucky, means uh, there will be chance to get a grace marks. So, if you not attend that question, means uh, the university will not provide you grace marks. At least you have to write the question number. So better to write that question number and you write whatever you know. Sometimes what happens, sir? the supervisor will give you marks. Sometimes, unfortunately. So why to lose that chance? So write whatever you know on the concept. This is the sixth point. Yeah, now this I completed a five marker, a very, very important tips and tricks. Okay, then my dear brothers and sisters, sir, let's move towards the uh, tips to write two marks. See, two marks, it is the distinction defining concept in your answer sheet means if you want to score good marks means i want to top in my college i want to be distinction first class means that will be decided around the two marks so two marks you should be very concentrated see in this also definition is first then you have to give an example for an example define sterilization they will give only sterilization you write what is this sterilization you give some of the two types of the sterilization filtration type of the sterilization okay radiation type of the sterilization thermal sterilization two to three then you give it this only these are the example now after that you should write minimum five lines for these uh, uh, two mass question you should uh, attain five lines five lines you have to write then don't leave a single question here also same procedure you don't leave any question uh, write whatever you know sterilization they will give means uh, you write whatever you know you write you know sterility, you know sterilization means uh, what we are doing, it is the process where we are maintaining the st sterility. Means we are maintaining uh, free from microbes, free from uh, pathogens. That is known as sterilization techniques. Just you write in your own words, okay. Then uh, target 8 questions at least. It is also very important. You have to target this one. Which one? 8 question. See, in your 2 marks, uh, you will uh, be asked uh, 10 questions. 2 into 10, 20 marks. If you targeted for 8 questions, means here we can score 16 marks. 16 marks. There you will get 15 marks there. Where in 2 marks? Then in uh, 5 marks, sir, you will get 25 marks there. Clear? 25 plus 15, 30, 40 marks you have scored here. Then you will score 10 marks where? In the 10 marks question. Actually, the 10 marks questions are 2, 20. But you take 10 marks there. 10 plus 25 plus 15, 50 marks we have scored here. Easily 50 marks. So no any bulginess, no confusion here. 50 marks is in our hand. But here you should clear at least 8 questions. Then those 8 questions, where we will get that 8 question? Read from the previous year question paper. See, I have made a various videos on the these lectures. Means microbiology, pharmaceutical engineering, many third semester, fourth semester, second semester, first semester. Lot of videos are present on my YouTube channel, Lecture and Pharmacy. Just go and watch that. By practicing only those questions, definitely you will score good marks. Okay. 
those questions are not framed by myself the questions are collected from the question papers so you just practice that with a two marks question two marks questions you don't find anywhere just you recall the two marks questions from your previous year question papers there you can uh, easily you can get uh, seven to eight questions uh, in your present examination yes my dear brothers and sisters these are the very very important information uh, for you all so please please if you are new to the channel subscribe my channel let join pharmacy and uh, this type of informative videos you will be getting so you can uh, be touch with me inshallah your score will be in a good manner you can be a good pharmacist also and you, you can give you a good result to your parents also and your college also thank you assalamu alaikum